Good everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have got two chefs with me, whoop, 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 my two granddaughters, and they're going to be cooking dinner for us tonight and we are going to be making um, sausages and something. Everybody loves sausages and something. So um, I don't even know the name of it. It's all good, we'll figure that out. And we're going to put it all together and show you what that looks like in a mo. Woo. Two gorgeous granddaughters, what are your names? Mila. Mila and Koha. Fantastic. And what are we cooking tonight? Pasta and something. That's right, <laughs> pasta and sausages, and it's going to be great. What you okay. do? Um, I've grated the zucchini and the carrots, and I chopped two onions and some capsicum, and yeah. I've grated the cheese. Beautiful. So the capsicum and the, um, sorry, the capsicum, the zucchini and the carrot is what we had in the, in the fridge left over because we're going to bulk this up okay yeah. as you can see look I've even got a red onion in here threw that in because it was looking a bit lonely um, we've got some pasta sauce here plus some pa um, some tomato paste which we're going to add to it and some crushed garlic and some pasta doesn't matter what sort of pasta it is just get whatever you've got in your cupboard okay if you've got spirals use spirals it's all good I've also got some Italian herbs over there here's Mila yeah. what are you cooking Mila? Sausages. Okay, so what what do you do with them? Um, so you every time it like crisps up like this one here, you slowly turn them to the side until it's all cooked. Perfect. It's so important to teach our grandkids or even our kids how to cook. Okay, so that they know what to do and they don't keep coming back to your place. Yeah. Doing koha? Um, I'm just frying the onions. What have you got in there? I've got some oil in the pot. But how much? Just a couple of teaspoons, a couple of tablespoons? Yeah. Yep, and what else are you going to add to um, it? I'm going to add a big spoon of crushed garlic. That's that. loads. Smell good though? Yeah. It's because we're all about the garlic here, aren't we? Yeah, and if it... If it smells good, it'll taste good. Yeah, I'm there with you. Cool. Into your sausages. Um, they're, they're bursting out a little bit here, Yaya. Does it matter? Um, no. Why? Because it's going to taste good anyway. That's right. And we're going to chop them up anyway, so don't worry if they fall to bits, it's all good. If you use beef sausages, if you use pork sausages, if you use um, uh, chicken sausages, it's all good. And girls? Um, good, but slow. But the sausages are cooking, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, even if they're like mostly cooked, it's all good because we're going to carry on cooking them off afterwards. So we're going to brown them off a little bit longer and then we're going to put them aside, cool them down, chop them up a bit. Okay, how's yours going, Koha? Good, it smells really nice. It does smell great. So now we're going to start adding some of those veggies. So we've got the capsicum and the grated zucchini and the grated carrot. We're going to chuck them into that pot and then go from there. Check that out, that's all the fat from those sausages. That's amazing how much it's rendered out. So really important to take them out and you know put them into your next dish because you don't want all that on your arteries, mate. We don't want that. Uh -huh. I've added the pasta sauce. Terrific. And now I'm adding in some tomato paste. Oh <laughs> beautiful. So the tomato paste gives it a really rich flavour, okay? And something like that would last for a long time. Well, it's upside down, there you go. It would last for a long time if you keep it in the fridge, okay? Right, and as for this container, can you see all the sauce down the bottom? I'm going to add probably about yay much worth of water. Give it a good shake up and then add it to this, okay? What are you adding now? I'm adding in some Italian herbs. Okay, so chuck it in, let's have a look. More... More, more, yep, that'll loop. Right, about that much. Okay, just add it to taste. And this is a good time also that you should try it. You know, check it to see whether it needs anything. Does it need salt and pepper? And Because a lot of the pasta sauces that we use, you know, um, might need a little bit of a, a bit of a help. Oh, I said that our pasta looked really fancy. Um, it's called Whatever's On Special Pasta. So that's all we get here. Okay, right. Beans is going to mix that up, and you, Akoha, are going to add our veg. So we were going to add it before, but thought maybe this would be a better time to add it. So we've got our carrots and our zucchini, which are great fillers. We're going to add those two, and we're going to add our pasta, okay, and cook it off a bit. Add your veggies and your pasta, add your sausages, and give it a really good stir. What you're going to do is you're going to pop the lid on, and you're going to let it cook 
and after five minutes just check that it's not sticking to the bottom. Add a little bit of water if you need to. When it's cooked, transfer it to a roasting dish, cover it in cheese and cook it in the oven at 180 degrees until it's golden brown. Good job girls, how'd it go? Good. Good. How's it taste? It's going to be hot. Oh, hot. How is it? It tastes really good and cheesy. Mm. Yum, that's our dinner tonight. Hope you guys are well. Don't forget to teach your grandkids and your kids how to cook, okay? Really important. That means you won't need to. Like winning. Take it easy. Ka kite anō.